Hello, I'm the Cube Master and I'm going to teach you how a Rubik's Cube works. This is a standard 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Um, like This is what you'd get at the store. Um, how it works is you turn a side and all the pieces on that side move. You can turn all six sides of the cube and it can get mixed up really fast. To take apart a 3x3 Rubik's Cube, you turn one of the sides about 45 degrees and then you slip a flathead screwdriver underneath one of the edges and pop it out. This is an edge piece. An edge piece has two colors on it. This one has blue and yellow. All the edge pieces are different and there's 12 edge pieces in a Rubik's Cube. This is a corner piece. Corner pieces go on the corner of the cube. There's eight corner pieces and each corner piece has three colors on it. This one has blue, orange, and yellow. A common misconception with solving a 3x3 Rubik's Cube is that you solve it one side at a time. But actually, when you solve a 3x3 Rubik's Cube, you solve it by layer. This whole section right here is a layer. Once you've taken all the edges and corners off, you're left with this centerpiece. The centerpiece has six middle pieces on it, which each turn independently. The center piece is what holds all the other pieces together through these middle pieces here. When the cube is assembled, the edge pieces and the middle pieces work together to form a track by which the other edge and corner pieces can glide along. Corner pieces will glide along that, the same track just like this edge piece does. An important thing to remember when you actually go about solving a Rubik's Cube is that the sides on most Rubik's Cubes are oriented the same way. For example, the blue side is always opposite the green side, the orange side is always opposite the red side, and the yellow side is always opposite the white side. An easy way to remember this is that colors that are kind of similar, like blue and green, are always going to be opposite of each other. And white and yellow are also pretty similar, and so is orange and red. This can help you when you're solving it, so you don't have to keep looking around for the center pieces, because you know where they'll be. Now that you know how a Rubik's Cube works, it might be a little easier for you to understand how to solve one. Don't hit like unless you enjoyed the video, and don't subscribe unless you want more. Goodbye.